All right, number nine. Ain't no party like a bun bang fi party. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what party? Thank goodness I read that ahead that of time. Was very confident. Uh, <laughs> it's a rocket festival that happens in Thailand and Laos. Huh. You didn't know that? I didn't, no. now I There's do. There's music, food, dancing, also a competitive firing of homemade rockets. Check it out. <laughs> Whoa. That could go wrong. That could go wrong. Oh my goodness. Our producer shows us that no one was hurt in this video. <laughs> when you have all these homemade rockets going off at once. That that's too much like, rocket. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Whoa, oh. that's a cool one. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, that is cool, though. Where's it landing? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Good boy. Oh, no way. A little parachute? Pretty cool. It's a Bun Bang Fi festival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't there no you go. Oh, all right, number eight, a town in central Vermont is really hoping the TikTok influencers don't come this fall to see the beautiful foliage. The town is Pomfret, and they've always had tourists come in autumn, and that's just fine. The townspeople like to see the bed and breakfast full and say fall photographers have always had good manners, but these TikTokers are just not the same. There's one particular spot they like. It's a curve on Cloudland Road, and in the past few years, the people who come just to take their photos for social media fly drones, park wherever they want, and sometimes need help getting their cars out of the ditch. So now locals are keeping tourists out between September 23rd and October 15th. Wow, that's... They're actually, keep, they're actually blocking them out, yeah, yeah. for the colors. Uh, they can't go on Cloudland Road. It'll be blocked off for those weeks. Mm. Number seven, when it comes to dating, we know about ghosting. It's basically ending communication without explanation. There's a good chance you'd prefer anti-ghosting. Instead of disappearing, an anti-ghoster will send a text that says this. I had a nice time with you, but I think we have more of a friend vibe. Or, I'm not ready for a relationship right now. It is polite <clears throat> and to the point. May sting at first, but that's better than the alternative, right? Wondering what happened and where did things go wrong? Not easy to send an anti-ghosting message either. You don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or offend them, but it's actually a much more respectful way to handle things when you're not feeling a, a true connection. I so like it's that, just right? basically ending things like a normal person rather or than... Or just like a... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just being nice to someone. Being an adult. Yeah. yeah. Being an adult. <laughs> All right, number six. You won't remember these unless you were born in a year that begins with a 19 in front of it. Fruit <laughs> barrel juices. Oh, yeah sometimes called bug juice. They were fruity drinks sold in little plastic bottles with aluminum tops. Yeah. They didn't have actual flavors on them, but they came in lots of colors like orange, purple, blue. You'd peel the top or poke it with a straw. For Gen X, they were a staple in school lunchbox or picnics, yep. <clears throat> and they were cheaper than Capri Suns. You could get like 10 of them for a dollar. They were also <laughs> filled with sugar and artificial flavor, like God intended. <laughs> uh, little red dye 40. <laughs> <laughs> you could still buy them, I guess, in some grocery stores and online. <laughs> I haven't seen those in years. Yeah. I, I never had these. We, we went right to the Capri Sun. Yeah, so. you, you well, guys you were, were fancy, yeah. Dan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, had to, we had to drink the barrel juices, and mm. we started twitching from all the right. sugar, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, number five, you're going to love Otto Nyholm. <laughs> yeah. I think I got that right. He is a stunt performer from Finland. For him, stunts and body movement are an art form all on their own. Check him out on Instagram, other social media. So he's done a couple of movies and he's still getting started in the show business. Uh, let's take a look at him in action. <gasps> oh. 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 oh! I don't like this. Oh, oh man! Yeah. He's gonna Whoa. break his neck! Oh! Oh, no Do it to yourself, Otto. Oh, oh! How is this guy still alive? This isn't ours. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my 
<laughs> Maybe she just, he just knows how to fall right, but look. Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that one oh with my the... gosh. Oh. Oh. It's a great demo reel for him. Yeah. Right? Oh. Oh. I mean, oh. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Okay, we, we just need to be absolutely clear that, that he's not actually getting fake, hit with anything. But he he was, yeah, me. but he was really falling yeah. on those, wasn't but The he? roofs, yeah, there's no faking the roof right. stuff. <clears throat> but all those hits and stuff, we just want to we make don't know sure that. we're showing violence here, but uh, that was That crazy. was an art form. we got to get wow. him on the show, right? Okay. You can beat him up and we'll see yeah, how it goes. Exactly. I'll look tough for once. <laughs> and it'll be like, Dan, you're not supposed to really hit me. Right. Then at the end, you can bust out your Capri Sun. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, we do this on the telenovelas with the slaps, you know. I mean, yeah. That requires yeah. a lot. Of, one time, yeah, Anna true. really, like, actually got me so bad. Yeah, and she was probably waiting for that moment. Yeah. For that she was for waiting for, the, uh, for that for And then she's like, oops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number four. It's that time of year again. Gilmore Girls Fall. The show is set in the tiny, quirky town of Stars Hollow, where it always seems to be autumn. And it's part of the charm. Scroll through Instagram or the talk and you'll see lots of charming Gilmore Girls Fall videos. It's the new trend. You'll see people walking through their town, coffee in hand, browsing the local bookstore, posing in front of the gazebo, doing all the stuff Rory and Lorelai would do. And you'll hear the show's signature theme song in the background. If you want to do your own video, Wells Park on Sunnyside has a great gazebo. Number I was three. actually there. It's in the back, back set of... Uh, at WB tour in uh, oh, really? Florida. Yeah, the oh, whole cool. town's there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Did you do your uh, TikTok? I, I, did, I did. I took a picture with the girls by that gazebo, but I didn't know what it was at the time. Oh. So, anyway, that's a whole set. It's very lower yeah. 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 All right, number oh, three. This yeah. is the <laughs> tiny island of Gasteligocha. You got all the good ones today. Uh, I did, yeah. This is the Basque region of northern Spain. That's where my family's from, my ancestors. Huh. You know that? Uh, this is connected to the mainland by a small man-made bridge. It is 231 steps up. At the top is a monastery that was built in the 10th century, according to legend. After the slightly strenuous climb to the top of the crag, one should uh, ring the bell three times and make a wish. And get this, <clears throat> HBO filmed scenes from season seven of Game of Thrones there. Huh? The Game of Thrones uh, oh, fans, yeah. I think they remember that one on the bridge, right? Oh. I don't, um, it doesn't sound like either of you actually remember that. I no. do remember that. Yes, <laughs> I, I do remember this. I feel like. With the dragons? Yeah, the dragons. And Daenerys yeah. was like walking up on the. Yes. Anyway, okay. Look cool. at that. Oh, there it is. That's a lot of steps. All right, number two. Two words. Hot pants. They are having a moment right now. It's not the first time. Let's look at the evolution of hot pants over the years, as sure. seen in these photos from the 60s okay. through today. They're short. They're short shorts? I thought it meant like pants. Oh, I guess like short shorts. And these are now having a moment? I guess so. I haven't seen a lot of them. Oh. Too bad Paul's off. He usually is the he text of the fashion He knows stories, what's you know. what. Well, there's stuff on the runway and stuff. I guess so. Oh. Look, you can wear anything when you're size zero and 20 years old. Hot pants, long pants, you sound like you Larry want. now. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the truth. Wear everything while you can. You think you look awful when you're 22? It's the best you're ever gonna look. Hmm. Wear whatever you want. Do it. Just saying. Yeah. Any inspired. advice for, for those of us that aren't 22? <laughs> uh, you're still in the window. <laughs> okay. You're still good. It's a whole decade window, yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. you're good. Well, number one, it was a really big deal when fast food chains started using credit cards. This was at Burger King in 1993. All right, let me see. What will it be? We're here to go. Uh, Would you like ketchup on that? Well, uh, Large or small fry? <sighs> Cash or credit? What? The home of the Whopper is offering cash or credit. I think it's pretty bad if you have to use a credit card when you go to a fast food restaurant for something as little as $3.10. If I use my GM card, I get a 5% rebate. Thank you. If I eat here long enough, I'll be able to buy a pickup truck. Burger King bosses say workers won't have to figure out how much change the customer gets back. I just hope it doesn't slow things down at the cash cash and carry that people are going to be having to call New York and get get the uh, confirmation or, you know, whatever it is, because <laughs> when I want a Whopper, I want it now. Just another way to spend money. I'm sure it'll work for people on vacation when they don't have to do something, but I can't imagine it working on a day-to-day -day basis here. So far, wow. the smallest credit has been for $2.50. 
the largest, just over 10. Jamie Costello, News Channel 2. <laughs> All right. It's oh, so Jenny. weird to see yeah. people in suits sitting in the yeah. inside the Burger King yeah. eating a Whopper. At first I thought that was a commercial, but it was a news report yeah. from the early 90s. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. Uh, okay. All right, 30 years ago. All right. All right That's the night at nine. Nine at nine is a whole lot of fun.